Now you're in New York bow fishing with the crew right here on Martin Archery's Wild Extremes. Bow fishing is an archery sport that was introduced to me by Jeff Bordwell of Legends of Fall and is now something that we do every year. I have made up my mind that the people who do a lot of bow fishing have to have a little vampire in them. They launch the boats as the sun sets and then hours later as it breaks the eastern horizon they head back to the docks, load all of the gear and head towards some place dark to lay down. That's what I do, first thing you want to do is, is uh, get that arrow out in the water and get the line wet, okay? Okay. Keep yours, keep yours reeled right up. Hold the reel up, hold the thing in. Yeah. Not quite so hard. Just keep that right up tight like that, okay? Okay. I need a little bit tighter, Jeff, or well, I'm gonna no, draw it fine. back. You're fine. Go ahead and get your line wet for start. Just shoot it out there. Yeah. Keep it down low so it doesn't. It's truly amazing to me to watch the people that are very proficient at hitting a moving target underwater. Me not being one of them. Due to the refraction of the water surface, you have to hold well beneath your target to make a direct hit. And they got the amateurs here tonight, so we're taking a refresher course. But uh, we are going to get some down here. It's going to get fast and furious quick. What we're yeah. going to do is pull out and around, we're going to slide into that bay, and there's going to be about 15 on there. Okay. Shoot the closest and biggest one to you. Okay. Guys, this is getting cool, man. Yeah. Eating mine. After watching me miss several times, Jeff finally had to step up and show me how to shoot fish. Go to away. Guys, look at this fish. Guys, check this out. <laughs> how much does this fish weigh, Jeff, you think? Ah, uh, he's not as big as I thought he was in the water. He's probably about... He's got to be 20 pounds anyway, right? 15 to 20 somewhere in there. I think, yeah. And this is what we've been... <laughs> Give me some love, man. You're the man. Awesome. Cool. Congratulations, Jeff. We're going to have some fun tonight, man. They're all over the place. If you guys are keeping score, which I'm sure most of you probably are, chalk up one more miss for me. The technique that Jeff relies upon to achieve the success that he does is to light up the bottom of the lake with the use of a generator powering halogen lights to illuminate the carp as they patrol the shallows. And even though the huge fish are illuminated, there is still no guarantee. I think that's obvious by now. For all you guys at home laughing at us, this is harder than it looks. It's baby done. Baby. Look at the babies. Julie, baby. look at the baby. Look at that shot. We got us. We got us. He's a running. <laughs> he's a monster. He is a monster. Should we pull him up? Yeah, he's still running. Still running. Guys, how about this? This is wild extremes, Jeff. <laughs> this is. I'm, I'm pulling trees and everything up, man. Hold this for a second. The guys, I'll tell you what. He's not a monster, but he is the first one with my dream catcher. Jeff, that's cool, man. The custom Martin bow. The custom Martin bow finally, does, finally right. does it. These, these right are through the very, bread basket. very, very hard fish to hit. Because they're small. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's put there, him in the bucket. Let's put him in the bucket, man. A fish man. is a fish. A fish is a fish. The crew is two, t well, I'm not going to tell you how many misses. Give me some love. Give me some love. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, man. This is awesome, bud. Let's go get some fish. Let's go get some fish. <laughs> Martin Archery's Wild Extremes will return in a moment.